Hello, everybody, and welcome to your bonus love reading for the weekend. I'll be starting off with the beautiful, fabulous, adorable Capricorn. So, Capricorn, let's get started with your bonus love reading, please. I'll be taking out two cards for couples and two cards for singles. So, let's get started, please. Uh, one more shuffle, please. For couples, we have the Three of Wands and the Queen of Cups for singles, the Magician and the Emperor. Excellent. So for couples, we do have the Three of Wands here. So the Three of Wands does show, you can see this person waiting for the ship. I do feel for some of you, maybe waiting for your partner, can be an ex-partner making the first move or coming home to you. Some of you may be experiencing challenges at the moment. Some of you may be feeling a uh, how, like a slight temporary separation. It's, it's definitely coming back here. Yeah, someone's definitely coming back here. It could be an ex too, um, coming back to you, taking their sweet time. But I do feel like they're reaching out to you, Capricorn, and this person could be a water sign, the Queen of Cups, it doesn't matter with gender, but this person um, may hide their emotions a little bit because you can see how her cup is covered with a very thin veil. So this person may sometimes, may be hard to read with their emotions. This person could come across as sometimes um, unstable, that's not the word I'm saying, but can come across very hard to read. I feel like this person is picky too. This person wants to come back into your life. This person doesn't accept not having you in the in their life, Capricorn. So I do feel that someone's definitely coming back. And I do feel I am picking up this as an ex coming back into your life. And it has been a while that you haven't seen each other. It's been quite, yeah, there's been distance, if anything. But I feel like it's not over yet. There's unfinished business here, and I feel like this person really needs to unload, needs to really say, oh, just, just, they need to say, they need to speak from their heart and finally show how they really feel about you, Capricorn. For singles, I don't know why I'm picking up the name James B, James B, oh, so weird, James B, maybe Henry, perhaps, oh, so weird, James B. Henry. Something like that. If that resonates with you, okay. I am reading for, more for the collective here. So there's going to be some form of communication, someone reaching out to you, Capricorn. And again, this could be an ex partner, an ex husband, ex wife, ex girlfriend. Someone's going to reach out to you. For singles, well, you have the magician, Virgo, and Gemini energy. You have the power to manifest anything. You have the tools and the resources, everything that you have. There's nothing that you cannot do, but you also have the emperor. It's time to take action. Because usually with the emperor, this person wears an armor underneath. So what does someone like the emperor do? They lead. Remember, this is literally all the kings wrapped up in one. It's a very boss energy. It's about stepping up, taking action, being determined, saying, you know what? I am tired of this. I'm going to go for it. I have a feeling for some of you, there's, you have feelings for somebody and you're holding yourself back. Maybe because of rejection. Of course, nobody likes getting rejected. It's happened to everybody, including myself. But if you don't take action, you're going to regret it. It's time to take action. Just go for it. But most importantly, do things that you really desire, hobbies, stuff, activities to get you out of your um, comfort zone, to get you out of your comfort. We've got to start stepping up. We need to start doing things a lot more now and come out of our cave. But overall, Capricorn, you have a fantastic reading here. But I do feel that, yeah, there is definitely someone, especially for the couples, there's someone returning back. And I feel like they want to offer you their, this cup. This person's like giving you the cup. I feel like there could be lots of emotions here, like maybe an apology. Uh, let's try work things out. Singles. 
you have lots of ambition, but it's time to step up. And I know you can, absolutely. You have all the tools, everything. You just need to go for it. It's just, if, and again, if fear is stepping in here, oh, fear idle us. That's the thing. We just need to go for it. That's all. And whatever happens, happens. But at least you took a chance. At least you did it. And at least you know. So Capricorn, go for it. Thank you, Capricorn. Have a great day. Hello, Aries, and welcome to your bonus love reading for the weekend. So Aries, I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look. What are your love messages for couples? Let's start with the couples. Four of cups. And the nine of wands for singles. The queen of wands. And the world. Very nice. So couples, we do have the four of cups. You may be feeling a little bit bored with your relationship at the moment. You're feeling, oh God, another day, another day with my other half. Kind of like that energy. It's time to ignite that passion. It's time to try new things. It's, it's time to get out of our routine cycle. And notice that the cup here in the corner here, Aries, we need to start looking around. What else is there? What else can you do to spark up the romance and the passion? Because there is, this is not uh, permanent. No way. This little um, boring, dry desert period that's happening here. No, 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 no. We can definitely ignite the passion in our relationship here. Definitely. We just need to look around. The universe and your spirit team will present you with ideas, signs, things that you probably will see to give you ideas. Absolutely. Now, we do have the Winded Soldier. Now, with the Winded Soldier, for some of you, things have been tough. There have been challenges, not just with your other person. There may have been challenges with family, children, in-laws, you name it, there's been challenges and you kind of like want to throw the towel. You want to throw, oh my God, I'm over it. This is it. You want to just give up. No, do not give up, Aries. Don't give up. If you do give up, you will regret it. Now with the Winded Soldier, it does show that you are a little bit defensive, maybe perhaps with your other person. Perhaps, yes, and there has been challenging, but when we do have the Winded Soldier, it's time to bring our walls down. It is time to lower our shoulders and let our partner in. So I feel like for some of you, you've been keeping your partner at a distance. Maybe you have your reasons. Why? But it's time to bring these walls down. Start communicating with your partner. Ignite the passion again. Ignite the fun times again. Because remember, you started off as friends and then you became inseparable. It's like you were joined at the hips. We need to start to ignite that passion again. Now, for singles, well, Aries, you're being represented as the queen of wands here. You have that fiery energy. You're attractive. You have lots of ambition. You bring a lot of power and passion into everything. So more than ever, it is time to take action. What kind of action? Talking about action that you really want to do. Let's say, for example, you hate going to bars. Don't go to bars. No, you're going to be attracting the wrong people. I'm talking about taking action, for example, hobbies and activities that you truly love to do. Another thing that you need to take action on, if you definitely have feelings for a certain individual or you see someone that catches your eye, you need to take action. doesn't matter how foolish she'll look or if you look stupid, maybe in front of others, doesn't matter. You just got to go for it, Aries. Because this is what the Queen of Wands are. She does is, ah, excuse me, can you hold my wand? I, I need to talk to this person. That kind of action. You also have the world. The world is your oyster, Aries. You have come full circle. A brand new cycle is going to start. Congratulations. This is when you've taken in the life lessons, the challenges, the feedback, and you use that to your advantage. How do you use that to your advantage? That's simple. The next person you meet, if you see any red flags, you know how to stop it. Very moment to set boundaries. You're not just going to let this other person just do whatever they want. No, you have values. You have boundaries. There are things that you're not going to tolerate. 
And that's why you're being represented as a queen now, a leader, someone with fiery energy, someone that got their stuff together. That's what I'm going to say. It's good to be you, Aries. So I don't feel for singles, you're going to stay single for long. The reason is because you do have the world. It's a brand new cycle. And for couples, please, it's time to, Aries, lower your shoulders. Communicate now. Don't throw in the towel just yet. And it's more important, it's time to ignite that passion that you used to have. Because you definitely, it's definitely there. We just need to fire it up. Thank you, Aries. Have an amazing day. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's have a look at your cards, please. For couples, your first two cards are the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. For singles, the Winded Soldier, Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Cups here. So let's talk about couples first. We do have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords means that there is a third party intrusion here. This could be someone that you know or someone that you don't know. This could be, and when I say a third party intrusion, yes, it could be infidelity or it could be someone just budding into your relationship, not minding their own business. For example, in laws. I'm picking up that there is a mother-in-law that keeps oh, butting in. That's driving you crazy, um, Gemini. This could be friends, co-workers, just people um, very curious about your relationship. The problem with the Three of Swords, nobody wins. No. Nobody wins. Everybody loses here because everybody gets hurt, especially you, Gemini, because I understand, Gemini, you're just, you're there. You just want to get on with the relationship, but at the same time, there's just another person getting involved. Now, for some of you, now, this, this will not resonate for everybody, but if it's you, though, Gemini, perhaps um, seeing somebody else, just remember that it does cause heartbreak for everybody. Just want you to know that. Now, you also have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is all about equal give and take. Maybe now is time to set boundaries. It's time to sit down with your partner and say, this is, I'm not going to tolerate this. For some of you, you're probably doing everything in the relationship and it's a little bit imbalanced. A relationship needs to be 50-50, not more or less. So now more than ever, it's time to sit down. It's time to reevaluate. Talk things through, bring things to the table that is causing um, anguish, it's causing a bit of sadness, and talk things through. Remember, approach the situation with calm and dignity. Do not yell, do not come across as the beast, you could say. You need to really be calm in this situation here because at the moment, I do feel that there are no boundaries, that people are just doing whatever they want. People are taking the relationship for granted, you could say, when that's not necessarily the case. It's time to sit down. It's time to talk through the problems and make things equal here. For singles, you do have the Winded Soldier, the Nine of Wands. So for singles that may, no, that may, that did experience very challenging relationships in the past, very troubled people, very mm, heavy energy, toxic, manipulative energy. I feel like for some of you, you just want to give up. It's like, I'm not going to find the per I'm not going to find my life partner. And th the thing is, when we do experience really bad relationships, sometimes we tend to globalize our ideas that, for example, all men are horrible. All women are cruel. We tend to global, globalize our ideas sometimes. More than ever, you cannot give up, Gemini. If you give up, you're going to regret it. And I don't care your age, your situation. No, you cannot give up. If you give up, you will regret it. And it's time to put your walls down because you've been keeping certain people at a distance, at an arm's length. It's time to, and I get it, you may be a little bit defensive. It's time to bring down your walls. And with the Seven of Cups, sometimes your head can be a little bit in the clouds. 
overthinking too much. Why did this person hurt me? What should, what should I do now? Or I don't know what to do. And I get it. I'm a Gemini too. I'm an overthinker. Absolutely. We need to ground ourselves, really ground ourselves and make a decision what we truly want to do. And again, don't make a decision because society expects you to do that. You've got to make a decision from your heart and ground yourself and really decide what is it that you truly want to do, Gemini. So yes, it is a period to reflect. It's a period to think about what is it that you truly want? Absolutely. So Gemini, thank you very much for joining me. Have a beautiful weekend. Hello, Leo, and welcome to your bonus love weekend reading. Let's have a look, Leo. What is it that you need to know? I'll be pulling out two cards for couples and two for singles, please. Excellent. Okay, two cards for couples. We have ooh, the King of Cups, the Emperor. Very nice. For singles. We have the chariot. Wow. Ooh, page of wands. Wow. I just want to say this quickly. Singles, you're gonna be you're not gonna be single for long. That's that's what I'm gonna say. But for couples, we do have the king of cups here. So what does this mean in a love relationship? So Leo, it's all about expressing your emotions. Sometimes life can get in the way, we're busy, and we don't really tell our partners every day. I love you. More than ever, it's time to start getting in touch with our emotions. Your other partner, maybe a water sign, someone of a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This person can come across as very in tune with their emotions and very passionate too. So more than ever, it's time to reconnect. It's time to reconnect. It's time to start having more fun going out, being teens again, doing stuff that you love to do. And you also have the emperor. The emperor is Aries energy. So the emperor is all about taking action. It's all the kings wrapped up in one. So the emperor in traditional tarot also wears an armor. It's about taking action, leading. So Leo, if you haven't been like really present with your other partner at the moment, it's time to take action. It's time to organize things. Surprise your partner. Be Do something completely different. Because there is love. There is passion here. Absolutely. Just do it, Leo. Because I feel like career, maybe career, family, children, life has just got in the way. But more importantly now, I'm picking up that you need to start expressing your emotions and you need to really step up into the relationship and surprise your partner. Do something very generous, something completely different. For singles, well, we have the chariot. There's definitely a message coming towards you. This is very fast movement. It is the fastest major arcana. So again, notice this person here. They're not ho even holding onto the reins. The horses are charging towards you. This is excellent news coming your way. Very good news. And what kind of news? Yeah, there are messages coming your way. These are messages that are going to ignite your passion. These are messages that are going to make you feel excited like a teenager again. You're going to feel, oh my God, is this actually really happening? That kind of excitement. So yes, it will start off something small, but I do feel that because the chariot is a major arcana, your spirit team is going to be working in the background to organize this. You don't have to worry about anything, Leo. I'm going to be completely honest. You don't have to worry about anything. The, the actual, your angels, your spirit team, they're going to help orchestrate this. You just have to say yes to this offer. That's all you have to do. So overall, excellent cards for singles and for couples. Thank you, Leo. Have an amazing day. Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your bonus weekend love reading. Let's have a look. Sagittarius, what is it that you need to know? What are your love messages, please? Cool. 
for couples. We have seven of wands and the queen of swords for singles. We have the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. You're not going to be single for long, I'll tell you that. But for couples, there have been challenging times. You're constantly defending yourself. You're not seeing eye to eye with your partner. If anything, you guys are seeing, it's like black and white at the moment. It's like he'll say one thing or she'll say one thing and it's completely the opposite. So you're constantly defending yourself. It's been very challenging at the moment. You can see this person holding up the wand, trying to defend themselves. So there have been challenges. You may have also experienced challenges from the other person's side of the family because there's more than one wand here um, coming towards you. So yeah, there may be issues with family. However, though, if that resonates with you, you do have the queen of swords here. And let me explain something about the queen of swords. The queen of swords, what she does is, in traditional tarot, she removes her heart. She puts it in a cage and thinks with her head and holds a sword. In other words, sometimes the Queen of Swords will chop off someone's head and then ask questions. So what you need to do in this situation, Sagittarius, if this resonates with you that you have been experiencing lots of challenges, we need to start think with thinking, we need to, I can't talk. We need to start approaching the situation with our head, not with our heart, in the sense you need to bring logic and truth to the table. When you bring truth to the table, it wins in the sense that, oh, you kind of like um, don't let the other person have any other option. If things are not working because of this and this and this and you bring it to the table, it kind of like settles the argument. So it's about being very logic, being stern and being assertive in that kind of situation, setting boundaries, not tolerating things also. Because the Queen of Swords, you have to remember, she only in traditional tarot, she only shows the side of her face. So she's not showing her true side because she doesn't tolerate BS. Not at all. And her head is always above the clouds. So she sees things very clearly. She sees things for what they really are. This is why, why I truly do appreciate the Queen of Wands. She can come across as sharp-tongued, but she has her reasons. Remember, the Queen of Wands has had her challenges. She's had her battles. And she does. She, she still shows a very stoic approach. So in other words, Sagittarius, now's the time to speak your truth if you're going through challenges at the moment. Now is the moment to set boundaries. Not tolerate things and be very stern with your decision here. Because again, I feel like in this situation, usually in a in a relationship, it's about 50-50, but it's um I feel like someone's doing like 80% while the other person's doing like 20% here. And it's it's driving you crazy. Not to mention there could be other family members just getting involved and causing more trouble. Could be cousins, in-laws, whatever it is. But we need to set our ground. We need to put our foot down and not tolerate certain things. Singles, however, hmm, we have the page of pentacles, messages coming your way. Again, this person can come across as someone very young at heart, very playful, very just happy, happy person. And what are they offering you? See this pentacle? It's a message, but it's someone that you can definitely trust. Usually the page of pentacles, they don't go in like full on head first. It's not something that they go for it. They, they usually take their time. You know, they look at the situation. They're probably looking at you, Sagittarius, and they're like, okay, you know, I'm going to message Sagittarius. You know, they're, they're going to keep it like very, um, oh, what's that word? Very casual. It's like, hey, Sagittarius, how are you? Kind of like that. It's a very casual thing. But you also have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new beginning. But what kind of beginning? It's a solid beginning. It doesn't come with a hidden agenda or anything. No, you can definitely trust this person. This person means well. Even though they may come across as a little bit casual, a little bit, you know, just, um, I'm interested, but they may be coming across as a friend. No, this person has true feelings for you. They mean well, and they definitely want something. They want to they pursue you, Sagittarius. So 
if this resonates, if this if this does happen, yes, go for it. Absolutely. And again, for couples, it's time, Sagittarius, to put your foot down and not tolerate certain things that are hurting you. Thank you, Sagittarius. Have a beautiful day. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your bonus love weekend reading. Taurus, let's get started. Let's have a look. What is it that you need to know, please? Excellent. So for couples, we have the three of pentacles and the five of pentacles. For singles, the nine of pentacles and the seven of cups here. So couples, we do have the three of pentacles and the five of pentacles. At the moment, I don't feel that this relationship is working. You probably show a different face when you're with family or friends. At the same time, it's not working out. Because with the five of pentacles, it is the card of rejection. It is a card when someone just abruptly leaves you out in the cold. Maybe even blocks you. And yeah, I can just clearly see that you're not working together. If anything, you're probably working against each other. It's a toxic relationship at the moment. It's a relationship that you're not seeing eye to eye. In fact, you're seeing black, this person's seeing white. There's no shades at the moment and it's currently not working. It's going through its troubling times at the moment. Now this, there could be a temporary separation or a permanent separation here. But unfortunately here, someone was, someone's, um, now I'm picking up, someone was not giving in. They were not compromising. They were not, uh, in other words, not being flexible here. Because I feel like there's, I feel like your other half was being very stern. It's like, no, it's my way or the highway. Kind of like, they were just not, not being very flexible in terms of their options and the decision. If anything, I feel like they were being extremely bossy and just, um, taking no, didn't want to listen to you. Now, Taurus, you may have rejected this person. Either this person rejected you or you rejected this person. Because I can clearly see, Taurus, you put in the work into this relationship. You put in the work, the hard work. But yet, this other person, mm, no. The, the, it's like this person, if they didn't get their way, they were willing to end the relationship. I think this person was quite childish, to be honest. Very arrogant, very manipulative. And maybe perhaps even narcissistic too. So I do feel for you, Taurus. I do feel that you wanted to make this work. You wanted to put in the the, the time and the energy, but this person uh, just wasn't seeing eye to eye with you. And they have a very inflexible mind, just very, mm, no, it's my way. That's what I'm picking up here, unfortunately. But sometimes we have to remember, Taurus, if this person is not seeing eye to eye, maybe separation is probably best for this relationship because I can guarantee you there's happiness somewhere else somewhere else for you absolutely for singles now for singles you're loving single life with the nine of pentacles you're loving it you're enjoying single life it's like I get to spend time with myself I can do whatever it is that I want I have nobody to um report back to hey so you're loving single life you're really loving it but at the same time your thoughts are clouding your judgment. Even though you, you are loving single life, at the same time, you are thinking, but you know what? It would be good to be in a relationship. It would be good to share my life with someone. And sometimes you're in a bit of a tug of war in the sense, okay, I feel like maybe my family want me to settle down and get married. But at the same time, I'm really loving just being single. What we have to do, to Taurus, we need to ground ourselves, really ground ourselves get our head out of the clouds and think about what is it that we truly want. Not what others want, what you want, Taurus. Make a decision. Look at the pros and the cons because with anything in life, we have to take the good and the bad. That's life. Make a decision, from, make a, decision a logical decision, and you will be able to make a decision what you truly want. But I can clearly see here for singles, for the majority of singles, you're loving it at the moment. Enjoy it, I'm going to say. For the time being, enjoy it. And with time and with a bit of self-growth and a little bit of self-reflection, you will be able to make a decision what you truly want. 
what you want, not what someone else wants. Thank you, Taurus. Have a beautiful day. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your bonus love weekend reading. Let's find out, Scorpio, what is it that you need to know? Let's get straight into it, please. Hope you're all doing amazing. For couples, your cards are the Queen of Cups, beautiful, and the Moon. For singles, we have the Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords. Let's talk about couples. You're being represented as the Queen of Cups. Notice something here, that the cup here is covered, like with a very thin veil. Sometimes with the Queen of Cups, it's a bit hard for you to show your emotions, especially when there are fears, like the moon here. And the thing is, the Queen of Cups does have boundaries. There are things that she will not tolerate. She has a good head on her shoulders. Regardless of gender, though, good head on her shoulders, can come across as a very motherly figure, can be a wife, a mother, even father and husband. Because I'm, I am reading for the collective here. But... It is about, you love the happy home life. You like things being calm too. But at the same time, there are fears. For some of you, you may be going through through some challenging times. There may be, you're feeling that there is something happening behind your back. Because notice something in this picture. You've got a dog and a wolf. So when there are fears, well, which animal are we feeding here. Sometimes, most of the time, when I do see the moon, we are feeding the wolf in the sense we are feeding our emotions, lots of fears, lots of anxiety, um, stress, anxiety, you name it. So sometimes when the moon does cast the light on the wolf, we are feeding our bad side of our emotions, our shadow side, you can say. Now, again, our emotions may be a little bit been down at the moment because there's lots of fears. Now, this could be due to, because it's only two cards here, maybe issues with our particular um, other person here, no, no communication. This person may go out and you don't know where they're going. They may, may not show you their phone, so keep their phone hidden from you. And it's causing a lot of fears. It's causing a lot of um, anguish too. Sometimes when I do see the moon, it's best to lay low, for example, it's best to go with the flow at the moment because the moon is temporary. It will not be, it will not um, last forever. I do feel that things will come to light because the moon, I feel like the moon is very similar like the high priestess too. Mysteries, secrets, there are secrets definitely, but things will come to light. You're going to find out about something very, very soon. But the thing is, like I said, like the Queen of Cups, you do have a good head on your shoulders because the things that just will not tolerate. Maybe if you do want to remove your fears out of the situation is to confront the person, is to put things in on the table and say, what is going on? For some reason, though, I am picking up that there's an issue with a phone here, like a vault. I don't even know what that is, actually. I'm getting the word vault, that there is something hidden there that your other person doesn't want you to know. I'm I'm sorry to say that. But there is secrecy here. And somehow maybe it is time to remove this moon and get to the bottom of it. For singles, you have the Queen of Swords. See, look at the difference here. With the Queen of Cups, she's very gentle, very reserved, doesn't want to cause problems. However, though, when you get the Queen of Swords, well, Queen of Swords will put your head off and then ask questions. So for some of you that may have experienced challenging relationships in the past, more than ever, it's time to communicate. Open up a bit now. Don't be so defensive. Do not be too, um, how can I say this? I don't want to use the word mean, but try to show a softer side of yourself here. Because remember, the Queen of Swords can come across as very stern, very assertive, very intimidating. It's time to show our softer side, Scorpio. It's okay to um, show our emotions a bit. 
and you also have the Four of Swords, it's time to rest. I feel like for some of you, you've just recently gone through a breakup and maybe you want to get out there again. No, rest. Rest your body, rest your mind. Just take it easy. Really learn to take care of yourself. And if you're going through some challenging emotions, acknowledge them. It's okay. It's okay to feel upset, angry, sad, because maybe you've been hurt. It's okay. Acknowledge them. Talk to people too, friends and family, to help you get through this um, emotional breakup. So I, I feel like this. some of you have just gone through a breakup right now. and. You're just a little bit, you're very upset and defensive. I understand. This is why the Queen of Swords has come out. But we need we need to show more our gentle side. We need to be very kind and gentle to ourselves. That's all. Thank you, Scorpio. Have an amazing day. Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your bonus love reading. Cancer, let's get straight into business. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. Well, let's get started with your love reading, please. For couples, your cards are the moon and the eight of wands. For singles, justice, death. Excellent. So the moon does show there is a period of fears at the moment. There's worries. There's something that's worrying you. It's something that you cannot, it's something about the future that you're currently worried about. And again, it's news for coming from overseas. This is a flurry of activity. It's the, it's when there is a movement, there is news coming towards you. Now, I'm going to be completely honest here. You have nothing to worry about because when we do see the eight of wands, it's good news coming your way. There may have been issues with your partner working overseas. Maybe you lost communication. There's something going on. It's going to be okay. You've got good news coming your way. Your fears will be resolved. There's, there's nothing to fear here. We just need to watch our emotions, because we tend to feed our fears over and over again with worry, stress, anxiety, you name it. But there's excellent news coming your way. There may be news that could be challenging, but it's going to be fine. It's not something that you cannot handle. But I can definitely see that perhaps both of you may consider of traveling overseas or traveling interstate. It may cause fears in the sense that, oh, I'm, I'm going to be away from my family. I'm going to be away from my friends. I definitely see it more as an adventure. Don't worry about your fears. If anything, you and your partner need to go out there and go on an adventure. Excellent. For singles, we have justice. We have two major arcanas. How interesting, right? Justice is Libra energy. Now, justice, notice that the scales are balanced. Now more than ever in our single life, it's very important to find balance in the sense, have work and play. That's what you need. We need to have both. Make time for love. Make time to do the things that you love to do. Another thing I want to mention, justice is the karma card. If an ex or someone has done you wrong in the past, don't worry. Karma is never too early and never too late. That's what it is. Now, justice shows that is when there is justice too with exes. For example, if you just recently gone out uh, sorry, if you've recently just had a breakup, there will be justice though. Your partner or your ex will learn a very valuable lesson here. So always find the balance, singles. Make sure you find that balance to also have fun, to also have an open door to meet new people, to try new things. Because I feel like for some of you, there was an imbalance before in the sense that you didn't have time for love. We need to make time for love. We need to show the universe and our spirit team, hey, we are ready to find someone. We are ready more than ever. Now, notice that you have the death card. There's been a recent breakup. There was also the end of a cycle here, situation, people, but also the end of negative thinking and behaviors too. So let's just say for some of you, if you were blamed a lot in the sense that, oh my God, you're not good enough. You're not, you're not this, you're not. No, it's like no more of that. I do feel for a lot of you, there was an ending of a relationship. There's something that you need to pay attention to. See the clouds here, how they're gray. When I see death, it does mean when death comes in and it forces a situation to end. Death doesn't care who's right 
who's wrong, whose fault it was, who it doesn't care. It just wants you, Cancer, to remove yourself from that situation because there's something better. This past relationship has run its course and that's it. Because the more you continue, I just feel like it would have been absolutely, oh my God, toxic. I do. So this will, this is what death means. Death means because there's been an ending, there's going to be a brand new beginning. It means when you resurrect, it's like rebirth. There are things that you're not no longer going to tolerate. You have boundaries. You have values now. You have learned from your past. You're a better person. You're not the same person that you were maybe a year ago. You're different now. So again, I love seeing the dead. A lot of people say, oh my God, you like death? Yes, because they show that an, there's an ending, but there's a brand new beginning. There's happiness for you. There's love for you, cancer. Absolutely. We need to find that balance too. Make sure we do make time for love. So how do we make time for love? Start doing the things that you love to do. Not what society expects, what your heart. What is your heart telling you? Ask yourself, sit down and listen to your intuition. It does work, please, it does. You sit down in a quiet room and you ask your subconscious, which is your intuition, what should you do next? You will get an answer. It may seem weird and random, but listen to it. It will give you the answer. Thank you, Cancer. Have a beautiful weekend. Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your bonus love weekend reading. Let's have a look. What are your bonus cards for the weekend? I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. For couples, your cards are the Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords. For singles, we have the Knight of Wands and the Sun. Beautiful. So for couples, this is a mental card. You may be feeling trapped, imprisoned, stuck, fearful even. I will say that this is just a mental card. It's like being in your head. Because you can clearly see that none of the swords are touching this person. This person can remove the blindfold. So in other words, things may be a little bit stuck in the relationship. It's not going anywhere. It's it's like it's idled at the moment. It's like the brakes are on. It, the relationship is not proceeding. It's not going anywhere. And you're thinking about that constantly. You, you can, you're constantly in your head because of the relationship. Now we do have the page of swords here. The page of swords. It does mean messages. So there will be communication with your partner. There may be challenging communication. Yes, but welcome it. It's going to give you some form of clarity. It's going to give you a clarity on how both of you can move on. I know it sounds a bit strange, but it will give you clarity on how to get out of this mental imprisonment. But you need to communicate. Notice that the sword is pointing down. Please think before you speak don't go into the don't go in don't go with your partner already arguing and yelling no it does require for us to sit down think things through and what is it that you want to bring to the table bring logic and but very important speak your truth pisces for singles well we do have the knight of wands this is the second fastest moving knight it's transitions it's changes more importantly, it's an offer, a very passionate offer. Someone definitely wants your attention here. This person's just going to go for it. They will not hesitate. They see you, Pisces. They see someone very attractive, very, mm, you've caught their attention, absolutely. And they're just going to go for it. It will require a call to action. Say yes. Definitely say yes. Because you have the sun. The sun is a huge, blissful card. Now, Pisces, you may go to a hot and sunny place, somewhere that's very bright. Both of you, you're not going to be single for long. I'm telling you right now, your angels are working in the background for this to happen. This was a time. This was like it, it had to happen. No sooner, no later. And this person is coming with a lot of passion. I'm telling you, yeah, 
this person is not coming in very casual. This person is going to be completely honest about their feelings towards you. They're not going to hold back. So Pisces, I hope you're ready for this. Single life will not go on much longer. Be patient, but you might be surprised who you might meet very soon. Do go to social events. Do attend. If you do get invited to go out to parties and that, just go. But this person is going to see you first. You won't have to do anything. This person is going to like, whoa, <laughs> is that Pisces? Go. So I'm going to say this is going to be a really nice surprise. Go for it. Thank you, Pisces. Have an amazing day. Hello, Libra, and welcome to your bonus love weekend reading. So Libra, let's get down to business. Let's have a look. What is it that you need to know? What are your love messages? Let's begin, please. For couples, your cards are the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. For singles, we have the Star and the Eight of Wands. These are excellent cards. Okay. Libra, we do have the Two of Pentacles. You're juggling. This relationship requires a lot of juggling. This relationship requires a lot from you. You're doing a lot, Libra. I feel like you're putting in like 110% while the other person is probably doing 5%. You're doing everything here. You're putting all the work. You're just, you're, oh, wow. I feel your energy. Your energy is really heavy at the moment. Mm. You're doing too much. And it pains me to say this, but I feel though, Libra, you're going to be walking away from this relationship very soon. So I feel like this person doesn't inspire you. This person's not putting their work into the relationship. In fact, they're just leaving everything up to you. They're very, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting the word, very, they're very lousy, like on the couch. I'm seeing the couch. They're just very lousy and you're doing everything. And you're probably asking yourself, what am I getting out of this relationship? What am I getting out of it? I'm doing everything. And you're feeling very uninspired. You're feeling unloved. That's the word. You're feeling unloved. And even though you have voiced out your opinion, you have told this person repeatedly to step up, they say, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But nothing happens. So I do feel for some of you, you may threaten to walk away. Or for some of you, I just feel like you're just going to be walking away from this relationship. Now, for singles, wow, we do have the star, Aquarius energy. So with the star, Notice that the star is shining a spotlight on you, Libra. It does mean when someone is watching you online. Like, don't forget, like the page of sword is the spying card. But the star also means when you have a big presence online or you may be somewhere where people can watch you. It could be YouTube also. It could be um, in the entertainment industry, for example, actor, actress, maybe on TV perhaps. But this person is watching you, admiring you. And this is the card of wish fulfillment. If you want love, Libra, you just may need to make a wish. Your spirit team will find the way for you. They will move heaven and earth for you. You just need to believe that. We also have the eight of wands. There's going to be a flurry of activity here. Movement. There could be communications from overseas. Someone communicating with you, Libra like communicating, messages, Zoom, uh, social media. You're not going to be single for long. There's going to be very fast communication, lots of movement, and it's going to make you feel so beautiful. It's going to make you feel, oh my God, excitement, passion. And you are open to love. I can clearly see that you are ready to receive love. Libra, make a wish, follow your heart, and get ready. There's going to be communication coming towards you. Thank you, Libra. Have a beautiful day. Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your bonus love weekend reading. Let's have a look, Virgo. What is it that you need to know? Let's have a look. Let's get down to business, please. So couples, your cards are the tower. And the Magician, Singles, Six of Cups, and the Six 
of Swords. So the Tower. When we do see the Tower, it is a major arcana, but for some, at the moment, you're going through challenging times. Sometimes with the Tower, there's like a big destruction here that's happening. There's the, the, the foundation of this relationship is currently not working here. So what happens sometimes when we do see the Tower, it does show us that this is inevitable. We may already feel this, sense this sometimes. We are sensing that this could, yes, there is a possibility that this relationship could crumble down. Now, remember, this may not resonate with you. So only take in what resonates with you. Now, with relationships, you also have the magician. The magician is ruled by Gemini and Virgo. Whatever happens in the relationship, you have the power to manifest anything. So even if the relationship does crumble down, maybe if there is a temporary separation, you can heal with your manifestation because you have all the resources at your disposal. You have the gift of healing, of mending. You can do anything. So even if this relationship is currently going through challenging times, it will be okay, Virgo. If, if it's meant to be permanent separation, so be it because you can rebuild another relationship and find happiness somewhere else. The Six of Cups, the Six of Cups is when you're feeling a little bit, now this is for singles, you're thinking about the past, when it was better times, you're thinking about, oh gosh, I miss those days. More importantly, it is time to start having more fun, Virgo. And I feel for some of you, you may have recently broken up with someone, you have recently um, broken up with someone and the good thing about the six of swords you're moving away from turbulent times troubled times you're moving away from it you're moving away from the toxic energy you're moving away from the sadness however the people in case you're wondering well, who are these people in this boat they are your spirit team they are always with you virgo no matter where you go they are always with you to look after you to help you and the swords represents your experiences and knowledges. It represents your wisdom in the sense that you're a different person now from your past. You know what to look out for. You have values and you have boundaries. So you're moving away from your past, but also carrying the feedback and the knowledge and the wisdom here. But more importantly here, the big advice is to start having more fun. And for couples, remember, whatever happens, whatever happens, whether it's permanent or temporary, you can do anything because you're being represented as the magician. If the relationship is salvable, you can do anything. But we need to communicate. We need to start sending, we need to start setting our values, putting our values as a priority here, more importantly. Thank you, Virgo. Have a great day. Hello, Aquarius, and welcome to your bonus love reading. Aquarius, let's get down to business. Let's find out what is it that you need to know. What are your love messages? Excellent. Aquarius, I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. Excellent. For couples, your cards are the seven of wands and the five of wands. Singles, we have the king of pentacles. And the Knight of Cups. Excellent. So for couples, it is time. It is time to settle our differences here. Because with the Seven of Wands, it does show that you're constantly defending yourself. You're constantly putting up a fight. Putting up a fight. But you have to defend yourself against certain people that want to put up a fight. You can clearly see this person holding the wands, defending themselves against all these other wands. Now, the other wands could be, for example, your partner. It can be um, in-laws, um, cousins, you name it, even friends. And the thing is, when I see the five of wands, it's lots of arguments. At the moment, the relationship is going through a challenging time. There's finger pointing, there's clashes of ego, arguments, fights, gossip, toxic energy. Sometimes. What we can do when the relationship is going through this period, just to remove ourselves from this situation, not get too involved, not to pay attention sometimes with arguments, if you can, because it's just going through a rough patch at the moment. So we just need to 
let this pass. Let, let this pass for now and just go with the flow. But do not get involved because when we get involved, you know, we get upset and emotions come out. And sometimes we may say, say things that we, we may regret. For singles, we do have the king of pentacles here. So there definitely could be someone coming into your life, someone that could be in a high position, a business owner. This person has a good head on their shoulders. And this person doesn't come with a hidden agenda. You can definitely trust this person because they're bringing you a solid offer. And they're going to be offering you their cup here. This is the cup of emotion. This is someone saying, oh my God, they're offering you their emotions. They're not afraid to express their emotions. It is the slowest, slowest moving, second slowest moving night, but definitely worth their weight. So even for singles, there's definitely someone coming your way. Because it is represented by pentacles and cups, it may be a little bit slow, but definitely worth the wait because you, because you can definitely trust this person. This person brings stability, foundation, love, and you're going to feel the emotions. You're going to feel the trigger. You're going to feel happy. So Aquarius, definitely worth the wait. Singles, you won't be single for long, but just have that patience. And for couples going through some challenging times, you know what? Just go with the flow. Do not get involved in arguments and things will resolve. Thank you, Aquarius. Have an amazing day.